Hey guys, Jackie Butler here. For those of you who know me, know that I am a huge Supernatural fan. For those of you who don't, well now you know. <laughs> Recently I got to spend three whole days at the Supernatural convention in New Jersey. Oh my God, it was amazing. Or should I say, oh my Chuck. Take a look. Like I said, this was a three day con. So I'm gonna break it down for you. Day one, Friday. This was a very special con because out of all of the Supernatural conventions that have taken place, this had the most women cast members at it. Ruth and I used to say like, why if these two women are fine, these two very powerful women are meeting for the first time, they could go anywhere they want, why the hell are you in this freezing cold silo? Like, why can't we do this scene like at the spa while we're getting pedicures and massages and then talk about how we're gonna take over the world? Here's Ruth Connell, AKA Rowena, discussing her deluxe toiletry giveaway. Ever since then, I've been mean, stealing things from hotels. <laughs> Bestow lovingly upon you guys who are brave enough to ask me a question. So, this is one of our star prizes. Do you say Dulux or Deluxe? How do you say the Deluxe? I'm from New Jersey, like Deluxe. <laughs> deluxe, Deluxe. So it's about to say Deluxe. It doesn't make any sense. At Shower Cap. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that there. I got to meet her after this and she was so cool. I love her accent so much and she was so sweet. One of my favorite panels of the weekend was Shoshana Stearns. She's only been in a couple episodes of Supernatural, but she has had a huge impact on fans. And I think for the deaf community because she's an actual deaf actress playing an actual deaf character. Uh, this was her first ever Supernatural convention. And the character of Eileen is the closest to how I see myself that I have ever seen before, ever. And I mean, inspired me to create things of my own. And I started doing that because of my So yes, yeah, Supernatural definitely changed my life. So most Supernatural cons are emceed by Rob Benedict and Richard Spike Jr., AKA God and the Trickster. Uh, but unfortunately, they both had projects going on during the New Jersey convention. But luckily, we got uh, a kind of a special experience at this one because Jason Manns, who is a longtime friend of several of the stars of the show and has had his music in the show, uh, hosted and sang for us at this con. I'm just Like I said, women's con. So here's a few more badass women from the show. I have never been happier in my life. I've never felt, life has never felt more right. Um, it's the most amazing team to be a part of. It's the most amazing group of people. Um, and it's the most incredible thing to wake up every day and be dreaming about what good we can do in the world. Um, because there's so much. And I have felt for a long time that this family, this group, and the world beyond, we can do, we could save the world. But my experience with the word fangirl, one of the few things that I as a girl have permission to do in this world is feel big feelings. I get to feel a lot. I get to feel. And when I fangirl, I get to aim those feelings unapologetically and passionately and uniquely. So I think fangirl is something to be If you 
you've ever been to a supernatural convention or on the internet, you know that the actors of Supernatural not only act, but they sing too. And beautifully, I may add. Here's a few highlights from the Friday night karaoke party. Walk away, I will always love Day two of the con, Mark Shepard and Misha Collins, aka Crowley and Cass, are both here with a ton of other people, including Jake Abel, who plays the Winchester's half-brother, who's still locked in the cage in hell for like the past eight seasons now. Jake's still kind of upset about it. It all started with my idea. Which was like, name the episode, like, Adam's back, right? Everyone's like, oh, yeah, Adam's back. <laughs> like, the whole episode, commercial break, no Adam. <laughs> Second act, commercial break, no Adam. Third act, okay, like, the credits are coming, where is he? And then, like, right in the last moment, like, Adam comes out, and he's like, hey, yes, buddy. <laughs> and then he gets hit by a, a, a bus. <laughs> Matt Cohen, who plays a young John Winchester on Supernatural, is also on General Hospital, where he plays a neurosurgeon slash priest slash stripper. My question is, if your character on General Hospital was in Supernatural, what would happen? I'd be shirtless. <laughs> you, over here! I got to meet him after this and take a photo. And uh, he was just the nicest guy. Oh, but, um... I, I went up to hug him, right? Because they all they all hug you and everything. And he was wearing a flannel, but you could feel his abs when I hugged him. You could feel his abs through his flannel. So just a friendly PSA, you can feel Matt Cohen's abs through a flannel. Anyway, <laughs> Mark Shepard. What was the weirdest question someone's asked you? <laughs> <laughs> Any question dressed like this. <laughs> Good gravy. <laughs> Children today. After Mark's panel, I did get to go to a private meet and greet with him. Uh, no filming was allowed, but he was a super cool dude, and uh, I did get to take this selfie afterwards. Selfie with the king of hell. Remember me saying that this was a women's con? For the first time ever, there was a women's panel, and it was freaking amazing. with the most women ever in the history of the Yeah, we're into it, we're into it. What if though, what if you could merge Donna and Amara and like kiss Dean and then have Donna and Donna, Donna, Donna. Yes. <laughs> Misha Collins, actor, angel, and acrobat. Get it in there. No daylight. I'm doing pretty good. relaxed right now. Okay. Um, so Matt, how's the show been going for you so far? Yeah, I yeah, feel real, real positive things happening so far. Um, God, there's something weird poking into my chest. So I went through a period where I was like, I can't do this anymore. I hate it. I'm going to auditions. I'm never getting the parts. It sucks. Um, there's so much competition, and then I, and then I just said, you know what? If I'm going to keep doing this, I'm going to love every step of the way. I'm going to make it so that I can go to an audition and not get the part and feel like it was a win. And the only way to do that was to just make the process, the whole process itself, something that was satisfying in and of itself to me. So 
that is the only, and that's I think why I ended up having some success. But I could still be doing what I was doing before and be happy. Uh, and I think that that's critical. Because if you're, if you're like resisting the process, you're not gonna make it, it's not gonna be fun, it's just gonna suck. And another piece of advice that I would have is just be like blindly naive and optimistic. Like just be totally unrealistic and allow yourself to jump into things that you have no business jumping into. So Misha Collins, you guys, is an angel on and off the screen. Um, he does these photo ops at a lot of the conventions where he dresses up as his character cast from Supernatural. Now, uh, you buy these photo ops and all the, all the proceeds from these photo ops as, uh, with Misha as cast go to his, his charity, Random Acts. So I think that's so cool. I did the photo off. Here's the picture, and it's one of my favorite photos from the whole from the whole convention. Uh, it, it was cool because I didn't know what to do. Like you're, a lot of, a lot of these photos, you, they're like figure out what to do, and uh, I had no idea what to do because I was like, how do you talk to an angel? And so, <laughs> um, and so I just went up to him and I was like, hi, and he put his trench coat around me, and I was like, oh, my guardian angel. Please give this video a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here and you can check out more footage from the Supernatural Con right here.